Thank you for signing up to the cloud version of Service Desk Plus. In this video, we are going to discuss Enterprise Service Management ESM. What is Enterprise Service Management? From now on, you can extend proven IT service management best practices to streamline other business functions in your organization, including HR, facilities, finance, and more. With ESM, you can create separate service desk instances for each of your business function. Implement service management workflows specific to each business function. Use pre-built templates and service catalog unique to each business function. Provide a central ESM portal for all users to consume services in the organization based on each individual's access permission. Before getting started, let us get acquainted with some of the terminologies introduced in Enterprise Service Management. Instance In Service Desk Plus, you can create an instance for any business function like IT, facilities, HR, etc. to manage their Service Desk operation. ESM Portal This portal is a web page. A central console where technicians and requesters can access the different instances that they are part of to create tickets and or to work on them. ESM directory. The ESM directory is a repository of all users in the organization, the different instances available and details of association between users and instances. Apart from managing users and service desk instances, you can also define authentication, access, and authorization mechanism for users to access Service Desk Plus. Now let's take a quick tour around ESM and get to know the new features. When requesters and technicians log into Service Desk Plus, they get access to the ESM portal. ESM portal displays all the available Service Desk Plus instances that are made available to them. The users can set the default portal. Also, they get to search for request templates, announcements, solutions against all the available Service Desk instance. General information on what Enterprise Service Management is all about, along with its terminologies, is available as a help card. Under ESM directory, we have organization details where the organization's information can be updated. Users can be added, associated to instance under the user section. The organization's domains can be verified, set up SAML authentication, configure Active Directory using the provisioning app. The prerequisites for the same is also available as a global configuration. Service Desk Instances the org admin can create multiple service desk instances and assign owner for each instance. A new service desk instance can be created in less than 60 seconds. How easy is that? To create a service disk instance, provide the instance name, instance description, URL for the instance, choose the instance type. By default, we have templates and categories available for IT facilities and HR help desk. I can have a base help desk and customize later on. So I'm going to choose IT help desk and upon logging in, I can customize the entire help desk as required for my travel service desk. Provide the service desk owner so that this person will have SD admin privilege to go ahead and customize this particular travel instance accordingly. Finally, access permissions. While creating the service desk instance, org admin can publish this particular service desk instance to everyone in the organization or for users with permissions for this instance. Clicking on create, the instance gets created and will be made available under the ESM portal. 
finally, ESM portal, where you could configure the URL as well as you could customize the organization portal. We have provided an HTML editor where users can go ahead, customize how the landing page is supposed to look like and publish it for the organization. Build your enterprise service desk in the cloud with Service Desk Plus.